Welcome back to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, the last one we did the same scene, but we used a uh, sun um, and sky. But now we're going to do it with the dome light. Um, so what we're going to basically be doing is using an HDR image to light our scene. Um, so I have this scene set up. All I did was uh, just remove the, um, the light that was providing the sun and sky. And all we're going to do is we're just going to replace it with our dome light. Um, so what I'm going to do for the dome light is uh, under area light we're going to make a spherical dome going to use a texture for it and we're going to go ahead and I like to first bring the image in because sometimes if you bring an image in it knocks the type back to a regular image uh, or texture but now that we're done with that we're going to click on this little arrow and we're just going to uh, make this an advanced bitmap um, so we've got now, we can't see it, uh, but the best way to see what we're doing here is to jump into the dome light texture preview. So you'll have this little window right here. And we can now preview the texture and see kind of the direction that the, uh, that the light is coming, um, coming from. And I guess this little black circle here uh, is where the sun would be coming from. So we can uh, change the angle of the sun, where the sunlight's gonna come from. And then we, I'm gonna jump back into my camera and we can just do a quick preview. Now I did a full render, so I turned the threshold up, but for fast renders, we're just gonna use 0.03. I've still got uh, Bucket as my anti-aliasing uh, sam sampler type. Um, and I am still uh, using I'm still not being able to use this VFB window, so bear with me. But um, I'm just going to do a quick preview here. And you can see we're getting some nice light coming into the room. Out of the box, what you'll notice is obviously it's incredibly dark um, to start with. So uh, we're going to make some adjustments to that. Um, the best way to do that is just to go back into the dome light settings under area light. And we are, actually sorry, we're gonna to go to common. We're gonna up this intensity. I'm gonna use something like, let's start with 20. And let's just check our camera settings too, see what our lens parameters are. Um, I've still got, I've got my film ISO super low. So I've got it at 100, my f-stops at two, my shutter speeds at 400. I'm gonna probably up this up to like 600. And let's take a quick preview here. All right, we're starting to get some better light coming into the uh, to the bedroom here. And obviously we could keep playing around with the direction of the sun if there's something that we wanna use these windows to highlight in the room. But I've kept my room very simple with just this um, untextured bed. Um, and but we can see from the HDR image, we can see the tops of these trees out here. Um, but that's looking pretty good uh, as a start. Um, the only thing, other thing we would probably play with is we'd probably make this a little bit brighter. Again, you can, you can still see some of the noise, so the last thing we would do is just change that threshold on the final render. But uh, let's go ahead and just up this intensity to 25 and see what that does to our scene. Okay, cool, so now we're getting a little bit more uh, kind of ambient light hitting this bed on this side, which is kind of reflecting off this wall. Um, so we'll let this just kind of render out. But I think, by and large, it's a pretty good, pretty good setting for this interior room. Uh, the other thing we could do is we can adjust now. Now that we actually have a background, um, we can uh, take our camera and just kind of maybe get a little bit more of the outside terrain in our photo. And now we actually have, it doesn't look extremely realistic because I don't have a lot of other things in the foreground, you know, some things like curtains and lamps and plants and bedside tables. Um, so the image looks a little bit fake right now, but we could play around with that um, and make it look much more realistic. And I, th I still think it looks pretty, 
pretty good. The other thing we can do is add outdoor elements too, like trees and you know other items that would be um, in the foreground. And the other thing we can do is mess with the uh, with adding a uh, uh, blurring out things in the foreground or the background by changing our f-stop and playing with our camera settings. Um, but by and large, just uh, just lighting this scene. Uh, this is a pretty good start on getting you lighting interior lights with dome light textures. So I hope this was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials like this.